Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your RSSI slash LQ, which stands for link quality, for your crossfire, but to get it inside of your OSD. So while you're flying in the goggles, you can look up right there, and you can see, or shit, put it in the bottom, whatever you want, and you'll be able to see what's going on, and you're going to know how much reception you have. This is going to be a quick short video on how to do it. <music> Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is you need to have your Tyrannus powered up. Once you have your Tyrannus powered up, you need to have your drone ready to go. You need to have your Crossfire receiver installed, wired correctly, and connected and working. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on it. I'm going to link it down in the video description. Once you have done that, go ahead and take a pack and power it up. Telemetry recovered. All right, once you power it up, you can see right away I'm getting crossfire link quality right there. All right, first thing up is press and hold the menu key. You're going to get to your radio setup. Press page. Come down to crossfire. Press enter one time short press. Boom. Okay, so if you have loaded Lua C, you can use it or you can use regular crossfire.lua. doesn't matter. I use this one and this time you are going to long press. Then hit execute. Once you enter, you are going to select your nano. So there's my micro, which is in the back of the Tyrannus. That is my Betaflight T motor F4 stack. And there is my receiver. So I'm going to select that. All the peripherals will come up, all of the settings. You're going to keep heading on down. And once you get here, is where you will select for your RSSI. Now, your channels work like this. Channel 1, 2, and 3, and 4 are your basic channels like throttle, yaw, roll, pitch, etc. So you don't want to go too far. A lot of guys go down to channel 12, which is actually aux 8, and they set it there. I don't like to do that. I like to just go ahead and set mine on channel 8, and then and you can set yours wherever you want. And if I scroll forward, you'll see right away I can choose my RSSI. I can choose my link quality or I can choose both. Like I said earlier, it's becoming dominant to just go ahead and use link quality. People are getting the best results, including myself. So I'm going to select that. And then it's as simple as pressing exit all the way out. All right. So now you have that set. Your receiver now understands that it's going to put out the link quality or RSSI or both, whatever you've selected. It's going to put it out from the receiver out to the radio on that channel. So let's go ahead and dive right into Betaflight. All right, pilots, go ahead and open up Betaflight. Go ahead and plug your quadcopter into Betaflight and then go ahead and connect. Once you are in, you're going to want to head over to your configuration tab. Okay, once you've entered your configuration tab, then I want you to shoot down to right here where it says RSSI signal strength analog RSSI input. Be sure that this is off. As long as it's off, you're good to go. If it's on, turn it off, save and reboot. Now, head over to your receiver. Once you get here to your receiver, depending on which channel you put it on, it's going to decide what you're going to do here. So up here in the right-hand corner, it says RSSI channel. Select that and then put it on the aux that you have put it on. I have selected channel 8, which is equivalent to channel 4, or aux 4. And the reason why is because these are my first 8 right here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you do the exact same thing. If you chose 10, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and put it on aux 6. The reason why I like to stay aux 4 and under is because if you're running 8 channels and less, you went ahead and you put that on aux 8, and now it ain't working. So to save from that trouble, I recommend going from channel 8 to 7, 6, or 5. Keep it in those four, and you'll have no trouble at all. Okay, after you've kicked those on, you'll notice now my aux 4 is high all of a sudden. So that lets you know right there that my RSSI is working. So I'm going to go ahead and power down my Tyrannus. And you saw it drop immediately. So now you know that my RSSI is on the correct channel. And you can confirm too by doing that yourself. You can also look over here because your RSSI is right here. See, I'm at 12% right now. If I kick this puppy on... 
Now I'm at 100%. So I know that it's working. I have corrected this. There is one last step to doing this, and that's jumping over to your OSD and being sure that you have selected RSSI value right here. Select that and place it where you'd like it. I like mine up there, so I'm going to leave mine up there. After you've done that, hit save. And now you have successfully set up your RSSI in your OSD, on your receiver, in your Tyrannus, on the beta flight. You are ready to rock and roll. You now have RSSI slash LQ or one or the other, whatever you picked. But now you've got it. You're set up. You're rocking and rolling. You go fly as far as you want because you'll know before you fail safe. Uh. Oh.